for vitamin C, yogurt for bacteria action, and molasses for the iron penis.
for sharing. She was into what she was. I swear she wanted as much as I did. That blood is tainted. You know better than that. How dare you? I couldn't help it. I lived for that feeling. Pressure okay. Heartbeat unhealthy. 150. Uh, decent visuals. Adequate sensuals. Oh man, pupils really dilated. Oh, triple espresso energy. Adrenaline shooting out of control. Anybody home? <sighs> Not exactly. of Life Reach Foundation. We're dedicated to the extension of life. Yeah, I've heard of you. Thank you. After you were thrown out of Berkeley, I studied your work on uh, viral enzymes and uh, the aborted Nostra project. Very, very impressive. And then you disappeared. I also know that after your fall from grace, you went underground, as they say, and designed the famous love potion known as ecstasy. It's quite a paradox, really. You must be God's secret agent. Who told you all this? Uh... <laughs> okay, let me guess. The FBI, CIA, the Russians? <laughs> Okay, I'll bite. What do you want? Enzymes. Extraordinary chemicals, don't you think? You heard the miracle of a mother lifting the automobile to unpin her child. Chemical message. Which bypasses her intellect and all her cultural programming. Imagine if such a chemical could be produced artificially. Humor me. <laughs> this is unreal. Most great moments are. Oh, come on, Mr. Urban, think of it as an experiment. Go again. Now that synthetic adrenaline isn't going to help, you know. I'm here to offer you a job. Substantial money, the best of equipment. I want you to pick up your research from 78 and finish computer studies. Uh. 
inch away from the most significant medical breakthrough of our century. And you, Mr. Urban, are the last piece in the equation. I'm interested. Urban III. That's quite a mouthful. My friends call me Owen. I'm Dennis, Dr. Alcor's personal assistant. I want to welcome you to Life Reach. You can leave your things here if you like. Dr. Alcor, Code 7. Sign in, please. Dr. Alcor, Code 7. Upstairs are the staff apartments. And downstairs are the laboratories where we offer over a thousand treatments. I suppose it is. You know, when we first started, we were just a full-service serum and plasma facility. We did it all. Blending, testing, shipping, storing. And what's this? Some sort of filtration system? Blood enhancing. So, obviously, AIDS research has been a big source of revenue, too. Blood is a very profitable business. It's amazing, isn't it? It's so dark. Yes, it's under nitrogen. As you know, it's oxygen that turns it red. Owen Augustus Urban III, I want you to meet doctors Christine Jarolski and Mark Hampton. Owen. Chris is an endocrinologist, and Mark does basic research in enzyme biogenetics. Owen, as you know, is a well, drug designer. So Actually, I'm a homeopathic scientist. Wonderful. We've all heard so much about your work. Anything we can do, please don't hesitate. And we do so much hope that you'll join us here at Life Reach. Research, Jim. That's Paula. She's a volunteer here. She works in our control group. Paula, I'd like you to meet Owen Augustus Urban III. Owen. He's going to be working with us making synthetics. He's actually a very famous drug designer. I don't do drugs. But Dennis here has got enough steroids in him to guarantee impotency by the time he's 35. Right, Dennis? Maybe we should all stick to our own fields, don't you? It is my field. We'll discuss this later. Over a drink. She is right, you know. Steroids cause blindness, mood swings, uncontrollable aggression, testicular shrinkage. <laughs> Upstairs. We're late to see Dr. Elcor. Hey, what's wrong? I say something I shouldn't. Well, it's nice meeting you. Yeah, nice meeting you. I guess it's uh, off to see Dr. Strangelove.
hope you'll find everything to your satisfaction. Yeah, everything's great. On the table, you'll find your advance of $250,000 and your contract. I appreciate everything you're doing, uh, John. But I, I don't get it. Why are we in such a hurry? Eh? And another thing, what's with all the blood downstairs? I have uh, grand dreams, you know, just as you do. Oh. Is it medication? My dream is to unscramble the genetic code that instructs the cells in our bodies to die. And already we feel that we're on the brink of a discovery that will cure an entire family of viral blood diseases. And yet we need a scientist of exceptional caliber to spearhead the final breakthrough and that scientist mr urban quite simply is you but why all the security because we're working alone away from the mainstream mandated by the food and drug administration <laughs> you're underground oh underground above ground who cares we're scientists first and foremost i must say i found your ideas about Genetic RNA recombination. Brimming with insights. Dr. Alcor, those were just theories, that's all. <laughs> Wasn't it Albert Einstein who once said, great spirits have always encountered violent opposition from, from mediocre minds? an understatement. You guys see Dr. Strangelove? Sure did. You guys listening? They're always listening. So you, uh, you want to come in for a drink? I uh, gotta go. Maybe later. Yeah. Bye, Paul. to help her than me. She's having a bad reaction, that's all. Thought 
du jour, copyright life reaching. Very promising response to mutated receptors. Still need to check all cross references. Hi, what's going on? I quit. What happened? I just saw an experiment on Rebecca Murren backfire. I don't want to be next. <laughs> what do you think went wrong? Dennis said it was a bad reaction. She was strapped to the bed. Paula, you don't even know what the facts are yet. I know this place gives me the creeps. <sighs> well, don't you think maybe you're overreacting just a little bit? Look, you're a nice guy. If I were you, I'd leave this place too. What are you doing here? This area is off limits. Hey, sorry, I was just uh, wandering around. Mr. Urban is now leaving the complex. I don't think so. No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, 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 no. It's never, ever, 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 ever gonna happen. I don't think so. No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, 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 no. It's never, ever, 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 ever gonna happen. I don't think so. No, 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 no. There's something weird going on there. I want to know about it. You're not going to get me going back there. Oh, come on, Paula. No. No, not my eggs. No. <laughs> <laughs>
That's Rebecca. Well, I have me. They infected me. What happened? Just let me out, I tell you. They won't give me any blood. Didn't hurt, did it? You need lots of blood for these types of tests. If you have any problems at all, I want you to call me at Lake Reach. The number's five five. Yeah, I know the number. for a lovely evening. connected blood. Strange way, it looks like some kind of virus. What are you, viroid or chemical? Cells are mutated so rapidly just to survive. Just find a way to slow down the process. Cells are transforming her internally.
Oh, I have to talk to you. So I'm worried about you. What? I'm not even sure yet. I feel fine. I feel great. Okay. Don't you like me anymore? Huh? We may have a problem, a medical problem. Big deal. I want you to tell me exactly what you're feeling right now at this moment. I feel, I feel alive, okay? I feel, I feel strong and I feel like an angel. So what's wrong with you, huh? Oh my God, you're burning up with fever. Oh, a red-blooded American girl. Paula, don't you see what's happening to you? Your blood readings are all screwed up. What's wrong? I'm just... Uh... Shh. Look, I gotta go out just for a little while. I kept the lights off so they disabled the video, but the audio is adequate. Hello, may I speak to Owen Urban? Never mind, no message. Hi, Paula. He's not here. I know. I just saw a tape of you being bitten by a very sick patient of ours. How are you feeling? Are you hungry, Paula? Answer me. You're not well, I can see that. That patient has a viral infection. But there's no danger to you if you allow me to give you this antidote now. No way, Jose. Owen's very concerned that you get treatment right away. I know what's going on here, Alcor. Paula Bukowski, a former Life Reach volunteer, is infected with a virulent disease. Nothing we're doing here is illegal. A disease you and your staff are incubating in the basement. Oh, not incubating, Owen. Just trying for a cure. I have never seen a virus mutate and transform so rapidly. Paula's cells are being eaten alive by her own blood. Yes. Vampirism exists. It's not just a mythology, it's a, an actual virus. I'm infected with that virus, and that woman in the basement is infected with that virus. You're insane. No, I'm infected. 
please. See for yourself. That's the same virus I saw in Paula. That's correct. Yes, I'm a blood user. But I also adore garlic, and I hate sleeping in coffins. She's one of us now. For eternity. You have no right to play God. Huh? Oh. <laughs> well, in my search for an AIDS cure, I uh, came upon a particularly powerful virus known as the Kuru from New Guinea. Quickly began to realize that uh, it had certain life enhancing attributes. So I experimented with myself and soon began to know its darker symptoms. What? Addiction? Yes. There must be some sort of cure, an antidote. You didn't hire me to research an AIDS cure at all. Why didn't you tell me the truth? How could I? You'd never have believed me. We had no choice. Survival is a pretty strong instinct, you know. I had hoped it would be you that could create an antidote that would save us. I have to see Paula. I'm leaving. I don't believe so. Dennis is with her now. He'll, he'll bring her to us. Why should I trust you? We need a cure, Owen. Don't test my commitment to that goal. You want to arm wrestle again? <laughs> no formula. The young scientist, huh? Always bouncing back. Tell me, what is it you see in that girl? Oh, if only you could have joined us, Owen. We came so close to some incredible discoveries. But it's too late. We're disappearing fast. We need you. Is there anything that I can tell you or give you that'll make you understand? There's nothing you can give me. Perhaps I should have had you infected from the beginning. I would have made you come up with something fast. You can't always control everything, Alcourt. Especially me. to the clinic. Dr. Alcor is waiting. He's prepared to help you. I think I know what you need, though. How about a little pick-me-up before we go back? Just a little one. Why don't you like me, Paula? I'm rich. Smart, fairly handsome. What have you got against me? You're an arrogant dick. Thank you. Your tricep may make you see me in a completely different light. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sorry. No fang. Hey! No, no, no. What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? I'm infected. You said I'm infected. We're all infected. <laughs> Might as well enjoy it. You just save your vocal cords. Up yours, you smiling freak. You better shut up if you want any more blood. You just want me so you can lure Owen back. Yeah, that's right. And if we don't get him back, well, you're as good as, um... Yes, you wanted to see me. Something puzzles me, uh, Dennis. I wanted to uh, have a talk with you about it. I can't quite account for the fact that this girl, Paula, has progressed to such an advanced state. You didn't give her blood, did you? Yes, I, 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 I gave her a little bit of blood to help coax her here. You made love with her, didn't you? No. No, I didn't. I, I wanted to, but uh, Mr. Uh, Urbane the Third arrived, and you're a weak, pathetic fool. It's you who continues to jeopardize our whole operation here. Get out! And bring that young lady here to me. Now. I want to see what so fascinates the irrepressible Mr. Bowen Augustus Urban. Hello. Good news. Dr. Alcor has invited you 
to a very important supper engagement in his apartment. <laughs> What's his sermon? He wants to examine you. I've seen your examination. Here. Try some of this. It'll make you feel much better. <laughs> well, that hardly touched the silence. <laughs> Put that on. Why should I? I'll give you some more blood. Show it to me. After your dress. Oh, and uh, you could lose a little makeup. What are you doing, Paula? Wait. Ah. Uh... You don't know how to do this. You don't know how to take. Oh God! Oh God! Don't stop! Don't stop! Don't stop! No! 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 Stop! Stop! No! Stop! 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 Are you listening? If you keep ingesting it, you will, you will, you will start feeding on your own blood and you will die. Not before you do. You know, being a vampire is not as cut out to be. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, I always wanted to die at the hands of a beautiful woman. Paula, 
something you have to realize. People are always saying that. They were planning to addict me. They deliberately addicted you. I'm not addicted. Then what are you? Thirsty? Listen to me. I have a plan. I might be able to help you. If I stay with you, I'll hurt you. You can't just stay out there alone like this. What are you gonna do? Call the police? I like work with these vampires and they infected this chicken. Now she's like in a really bad mood. Paula, I really care about you. Paula! You were wrong. And sometimes, when you're wrong, you pay the price. I warned you. You wouldn't. I don't know what I would or wouldn't do right now. Sorry, but I need it. Paula! I forgive you. I do forgive you. Paula, I love you. I love you, Paula. I know you. You wouldn't do this. It's the virus. It's the virus talking. It's not you. Shit!
Hi, baby. Get up. Now you, you might hurt yourself. Maybe I will hurt myself. Do you like me? Do you want to go somewhere less crowded? Do it to me, come on, come on. Oh, baby, yeah. Do it to me, come on. sudden movements. Obviously, we can't allow you into this. Yes, that'll be all. Thank you, Donald. She's safe now.
can't save her. I give her about six hours. I don't accept that. I have a theory that I can use my own blood immune system to cleanse and stop her transformation. You're a fool. You don't know what you're saying. I you couldn't possibly have time to test it. I know exactly what I'm saying. If the procedure fails, I could become infected. And possibly die. Well, I'm willing to take that risk. High-tech plastic. Undetectable, but effectively deadly, and I won't hesitate to use it. Now, you can either assist me, or you can stay out of my way. Is everything all right, sir? Yes, Donald, all is well. But I'm one of you now. Yes, I know that, Paula. But this blood is not suitable for you. It, it's not right. In fact, it'll only hasten your death. Let me prepare some for you that could be compatible. <laughs> Move away, Alcor! Oh, out of here now! Let's go! Don't be so foolish, Owen. It's too late for her now. It's not worth it. You're gonna need me, you know that, my friend. I got everything I need right here. Seal the exits. inside of me now. Burning twice as bright. <laughs> burning up. Burning out.
That's your birthday. Let's get your jacket off. I think I may have done it. Oh! <laughs> 
was right. You are God's secret agent. And you've done me a service. Thank you. My pleasure. Just remember who owns the copyright. <laughs> oh, get up, Donald. 